Hello, my name is Sarah Klein. I'm from the Technical University of Munich, Technische Universität München. I'm a professor there. I'm a chemical engineer. I did my studies at the Technical University of Stuttgart, where I also got a PhD. In between that, I also did a master's degree at the University of Wisconsin in Madison in the United States. After my PhD, I started working as a process engineer in industry, as the process engineer at Linde Engineering for hydrogen and synthesis gas plants. We started to set up a chemical engineering program for TUM Asia in 2010 already. I personally started here in December 2012 teaching thermal process engineering which introduces the students into the thermodynamic world of the mixture and also into the separation processes for these mixtures. So what is chemical engineering? What do chemical engineers do? So let's start with a chemist. A chemist, as a researcher, he develops new molecules, he finds new substances, pharmaceutical substances, pigments, new fertilizer, new supplements for nutrition and so on. So the chemical engineer, he's the one who is responsible now to translate the new component into a production process. The new component is nice, but if you want to have a market, if you want to have it ready for the people to use, you have to build a production plant. And it's our job to size it up, to scale it up, as we say, to produce it in tons, to produce it in megatons. Let's take the insulin as a very prominent example. It's good to have the molecules, but it helps only if people get it available on the market. So you need a production plant to produce insulin in a gigaton scale. And this is our job to build plants, to build apparatuses, to build effective processes like that to make it, to the, to make it available to the people.